feel like we're gonna throw up at this point. You feel like you're gonna throw up? Huh. You're feeling sick again? Okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Fresh vet. We overseas with this one, man. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. What are you doing? I'm writing Presley a get well car. Get well soon car, that's really nice. Look how cute. <laughs> that's really nice, sister. Are you just gonna give it to her or what? No, I'm gonna have everybody sign it inside so that she can feel better. That's really I'm nice. Fine. Excuse me, what are you doing in the big trash can? <laughs> what are you doing in the big trash can? Are you guys adding stuff to her car? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very pretty, Elsie. That's gonna help Presley feel way better. Okay guys, so their get well soon card is done and we're just coming to see how Presley's doing. How you doing, honey? You don't look like you feel very good. <laughs> kind of hard. Well, you got this little card from your brothers and sisters. Does this have to open it or is it clean? Okay. Did you throw up again after I left? Oh, sorry. Here, you can open that up and let anyone find it for you. Is that nice? Yeah, everybody signed it for you. Do you want me to tell them thank you? Yeah. You just want to go to sleep? Okay. You go roll over and go to sleep. I'll come check on you in a minute, okay? Okay, guys. So, Presley has been, like, literally throwing up all day and all night. She's super sick. Okay. I'm super sick. I'm sorry. I wish I could take it away. I think all mommies wish they could take the sickness away from their kids. She got sick again? Yeah, she just threw up again. Darn it. Seems like the fifth time tonight. You no, know, at least try to sleep in a little bit. Your mom keep have to wake up. Alright? I'm sorry, honey. Love you. All right, guys, so it's the next day, the next morning, and Presley is still super sick. So she threw up a lot last night, kept throwing up pretty much through the night, and then this morning kept throwing up. So it's been over 24 hours, and she throws up literally like every half hour. And so mm, it's- Sometimes like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. two minutes. And so she's still in good spirits, but She's starting to feel a little bit more weak and stuff, and we can't keep liquids down her, and so I'm, we're... I'm kind of, like, feeling better because, like, last night, I couldn't, like, I didn't throw up because, like, when I was sleeping because I, Yeah, like, she had a good, like, four hours of sleep without throwing up, but then she did start throwing up again. So we actually called the doctor this morning, and he feels like it's important enough to go ahead and bring her in, even with the virus going on and everything and he feels like it's important to make sure where we've been in quarantine he's wondering where she got it so it's either could be like salmonella or food poisoning but no one else is sick with that so that's kind of confusing and then or it could be like he just wants to check out all of her organs and make sure she's okay in all of her tummy so we're heading to the doctor right now so we are driving to the doctor right now my fears hopefully will be fine because I know that we have the virus going on and we need to be super careful. So me and Presley are both gonna wear gloves and masks. My cute mommy is making us all some good masks, but for right now I have 
just a couple we got sent with a little emergency kit for our family from some friends and so we do have a couple masks and so we're going to use those while we're there hopefully we can just get in there not touch anything come out and really sanitize even get in the shower when we get home we'll just be super careful we're waiting for our turn huh and we're being really careful and we're wearing our masks and gloves <laughs> Can we do this arm or can I do this arm? Is that arm okay? Oh, I'll, I just need right here. Okay. Okay. Good. How are you feeling? Scared. Scared? What are you scared of? I'm just like scared from like, of like it, like the virus and stuff. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be okay. We're being really careful. Try not to touch your mask. It's kind of hard, huh? I just need to pull it up. <laughs> You're okay, just try not to touch it too much. Presley decided to lay down because she doesn't feel very good. Huh. And we don't want to have her throw up here at the, here at the doctor's But just in case we do, we um, brought a little bit of bags. Yeah, we brought little bags in case we throw up, but we'll probably be okay. Can you say, ah? Ah. Yeah. She's a little dry. to do this backwards because you're going to listen to your heart and lungs first but we'll do your belly first so what I want you to do is bring your knees up right like that and then put your arms down to your side and I'm going to listen to your gurgles okay does it hurt when I push on your belly Okay guys, we are done. For the most part, I felt like they were really clean as we went into the doctor, didn't you? They had lines for you to make sure that you stood six feet apart. They, you had to get your temperature taken right when you walked in and you had to do a full, you know, wipe down of any of your stuff and you had to put on sanitizer on your hands, right? And then we wore our masks the whole way through except for when the doctor needed to check out stuff that was on her face. and. Yeah, like look in her throat and things like that, but he kept his mask on. So anyways, for the most part, I'm not super afraid that we're going to catch anything from there. We've sanitized our hands again on the way out. And then again, when we got in the car, we used these. So I think we're, we're good from as far as getting anything different than what we have. As far as what we have, the doctor doesn't know if it's salmonella or if it's like the common stomach bug. I'm pretty sure that it's like not the virus. I'm like really sure. Yeah, it's for it, like, sure it not. It's just not like throw up. Yes, you don't throw up with the sure coronavirus. Either. And so littler kids, sometimes they hear that they're sick and they think it's that. And so there's lots of different sicknesses and she doesn't have that. And so we don't have to worry about that. And if you die, I don't because the coronavirus, you don't throw up. That's how you know you don't have the coronavirus. Yeah, that's you how you up. know. So anyways, so what we have been told to do is as far as if it's salmonella and it's possible that she, I guess, because she has played with the ducks a few times and maybe didn't wash her hands properly or maybe touched something or someone else did and touched something or maybe it's something she ate or maybe it's the tummy bug. And so what they're going to do is just for the next three days, we're going to use a, a medication that helps her not feel so sick to her stomach. And she's also going to just take in a little tiny bit of liquids, right? not even a full gulp just like little sips every like, like few minutes you, like, to keep the dehydration like, low my mouth gets so dry really fast because i can't yeah. i can't drink like a lot of water so yeah it really so it's hard because she can't just gulp a big glass of water because then she'll just instantly throw it up and so she has to just have a little tiny bit little sips because the biggest thing is keeping her hydrated because dehydration if you don't have enough water in your body is very dangerous and so because you can like maybe it may, you can like could die because you're stuff. yeah because your body needs water so we are going to make sure we keep her hydrated we keep her um, doing well so we don't have to um, get any ivs and just make sure that she gets better the doctor said if she's not better in about 10 days that they need to do a sample to make sure that she doesn't have something different so we're hopeful we think things are going to be okay right and really she didn't throw up the whole time I we were really at the doctor's with the longest. Guys, like, I've, I really hope that I don't get like anyone else sick, especially Beckman Ledger. Yeah. Because if I hit them sick, it, 
they don't yeah. like if Ledger doesn't know how to throw up. Yeah, because it's hard to throw up, especially when you're a baby. So we're going to make sure that you stay away from the other kids and, yeah, and Beckham and Ledger, but stay six feet away even in our home, which is going to be tricky from our cute Presley kid. But I'm going to be taking special care of her so I can be with, you know, I can give her snuggles. And, I, yeah, me and Dad are to take special care of her. We'll just make sure we wash our hands really good and sanitize anything we touch when we're done taking care of her. But, anyways, this has been kind of a crazy last couple of days, right? But hopefully things will get better. And hopefully by the next time we have a video, we can report how Presley is doing much better and feeling much better. And don't worry, guys. I remembered to sanitize the camera. <laughs> See you later. Guess what, guys? I have the best thing to tell you. I haven't thrown up all day today, and that means I'm not sick, so I'm so happy. Now I get to do all the fun things with my brothers and sisters. Thank you guys so much for your messages you guys sent me. I'm so happy that I'm better, but make sure you subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Bye.